Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cut it pop Mama went a little ham on the website a couple weeks ago because it was free shipping and it was two dollars off the liquid lipsticks. So, you know, I had to do some shopping. So I got two eyeshadow palettes and I got five lip products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch the lip products, put them on my lips, and for the eyeshadows, I am just going to swatch them on my hands. So let's start off with the eyeshadows. This first one is called Low Key. The packaging is cute, but it's not very practical. It's like this little sleeve right here, which I'm probably going to lose. And then it's like this like little cardboard magnetic box, and it opens up. Take off the little plastic. And these shadows, you know, your girl loves the warm shadows. It's just so easy and neutral. So yeah, when I saw this palette, I was like, yes, I love this champagne-y shimmer. And then these mattes are just to die for. I don't have anything in my collection that's this red. Like these two colors, I might have something similar, but this reddish orangey shade is what sold me on this little palette. And what's cute about these little things is they're magnetic, so like they're interchangeable, you can pop them right out. You can buy these shadows individually on the ColourPop website, so you can just pop right in. I guess that's why, because I did notice that um, this doesn't have the names of the eyeshadows. The name on the eyeshadows is on the sleeve, like in the back. So I guess that's why... It doesn't have it on the actual box, the little box, because you can interchange them to whatever eyeshadow you want. So I guess that's why they did it. Um, but I just don't really like it because I won't know the name of the color unless I keep this sleeve. So let's see how I do with that. So I'm going to swatch the first one. It's this like champagne-y color. It's super nice. If you just want to do a simple look... You can put that all over your lid or it could be like an inner corner highlight or for your brow bone a little pop of shimmer. I really like that shade. Ooh, I didn't tell you the name of that shade. I'm going to say that that shimmer color right there is called Ticket Slow. Now I'm going to go into the warm nude peachy color in the palette. The second shade right here. That one's called, I believe, IOU. Yes. Look at this orangey shade right here. I love it. This would be such a good transition shade. When you're doing those warm eyes, love that color. Now the next color, I think it's called Running Late. It is this warm orangey color right here. This one didn't swatch that good. Let me see. Yeah, the second swatch was definitely better. Look at that orange shade right there. That is orange heaven. Throw that all over your crease. Mm, delicious. And the last shade, I want to say it's crisscross. So it's this warm reddish color. The red color has a lot of kick up, as you can see right here. You see all that kick up? But, so I've heard that red shadows, it's really hard for them not to have kick up because of the way they're formulated. I'm not sure i've never formulated eyeshadows but so i've heard but yeah look at this i love this you can do such a nice warm look with this i absolutely love it i'm so happy about these eyeshadows i'm really happy with my purchase i think these shadows are super pigmented super smooth I am really happy with this purchase and they are pretty good quality. I love ColourPop for that reason. They're such an affordable brand and when it's free shipping, like even better. It's drugstore prices and you don't have to pay for shipping. So it's like a win-win. And you don't have to go to the store if you're super lazy. But yeah, ColourPop has definitely stepped up their game with the eyeshadows. So let's go ahead and swatch the high maintenance palette. I love the colors of these little seeds. Like this aqua and this like nudie, peachy, blushy color. Yes. 
together. My dream combination. Okay, so again, the packaging is exactly the same. And these are the shadows. This is like a purple plum palette. I love these colors. And with hazel eyes, the plum purple colors just make your eyes like pop. I love it. So the first shade I want to say is Just In Time. And it's this warm nude with a little bit of shimmer. Let's swatch this. Yes, this is a beautiful color. Can you see it? Super nice. I feel like for deeper skin tones, it could definitely be an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. If you have a deeper skin tone, this can be an all over lid shade for just like a simple eye look. Love this. Now the next color is High Strung. It's this purpley shimmery color right here. Yes, look at this one swatch. Wow, the pigment on this eyeshadow on this swatch is just phenomenal. I want to wear this like I want to smother myself in this shadow. Yes. Okay, so the next shade is Get Out, and it's this plum. It's more of like a cranberry plum color because it's lighter and it is a matte shadow. This one does have a little bit of kick up. Mm. Didn't swatch that good the first swatch. Let me try it one more time. Hmm. It is a pretty cranberry plum color. I am so looking forward to working with it. It does have a lot of kick up, but like I said, those reddish purpley-ish eyeshadows. So I hear they're really hard to not have kick up but it's pretty pigmented the first swatch was a little like off but maybe i just didn't dip my finger enough to it and now it's i like it so the last shade in the palette is this true plum purple color right here to be honest these two last shades didn't swatch as well as the warmer shades in the low key palette but either way once you swatch it like a second time it is super pigmented super nice and it is really soft it's a soft shadow it does have a little bit of kick up but you know what just tap off the excess on your brush and you're good to go look at this you can do an amazing look with this palette like yes I am super excited to do a look on this super excited so now we are going to do the lip products that i bought the first one i bought is the colourpop kathleen lights collab in aquarius it's the ultra glossy lip and on my lips right now i have the aquarius lip liner which i had purchased about like seven months ago i don't even know and i decided to put this one on because i knew that i was getting this one in the mail and i wanted to see how it looked over the lip liner so we're going to go ahead and do that. So if you do have the Aquarius uh, lip liner and you want to know how it looks with the gloss, I'm going to swatch it for you on my lips. Then I'll remove it, do it by itself, and I'll also swatch it on the back of my hand. Super nice and glossy and pigmented. Now let's see how this looks on my lips. It is super nice. It does a great combination with the lip liner. I really, really like it. So now I'm going to remove this and just swatch it on my lips with only the lip gloss. So it is like medium to sheer coverage with nothing on the bottom but you know what I still like it for an everyday like I would totally keep this in my purse and just slap it on. It's not sticky. It feels like nice and creamy on the lips. I really like this formula. So the next lip product I'm going to swatch is the Colourpop blotted lip it's in the shade on a stick so when i saw that they came out with these i was super excited to try it because it's kind of like a lip balm but not 
So it's sheer coverage, but it just gives your lips like a nice color. Look at this. Yes. I figured I'd purchase this because it would be great for a no makeup makeup look. So just to give your lips like a pop of color, but it's still not, it's not full coverage at all. It's sheer. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand. See, you can still see my skin peeking through a little bit. But it feels pretty nice. These are transferable. They're not transfer proof. So this is a pretty color. It does give your lips like a little pop. It's like a nice cherry fuchsia color, I would say. So the last three lip products I'm gonna talk about are uh, Ultra Satin Lips. These are my favorite liquid lipstick formulas out of every single brand I have tried. This formula is so hydrating, but it looks matte. It does transfer, but it's still long lasting. This is, oh, I'm telling you, my favorite liquid lipstick formula. These liquid lipsticks came out to $4 each. That is super cheap. For the quality and the pigment that these liquid lipsticks have, that is like dirt cheap. So they did have a promotion of $2 off. These normally are $6 each, but they did have a promotion of $2 off. So I got super lucky. Free shipping, $2 off each liquid lipstick. I was in heaven. So I did get two nudes. I was inspired by the Kim and Kylie collab. I'm super sad I didn't get to purchase it and I don't know when they're gonna restock again, to be honest with you. So when I went on the ColourPop website, I grabbed uh, two nude shades. The first one is in the shade Strip, right here. Mmm, gorgeous. Now I think this is going to be a little dark on my lips. It's probably not gonna be as nude, but let's see. I love this color. Yes. Such a nice brown nude color with like a little bit of a peachy undertone, but not really. Such a nice everyday color. And this formula, again, bomb.com. So these are nothing like the Kylie ones, but like I said, I just got inspired to buy nude liquid lipsticks. Not really to buy shades that are dupes or anything like that. And the next nude shade is called Likely. So this color right here, it is way lighter than Strip. This is Strip, this is Likely. I'm actually gonna leave Strip on the back of my hands and swatch Likely right next to it. So this is Likely and this is Strip. As you can see, it's way, way, way lighter. And this one definitely has a peachy undertone to it. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Yes, I love this shade. Oh my God. This has to be a dupe for one of the Kim and Kylie collabs. This looks so much like one of them. I don't know the name. I want to say it's Kiki. It's the light nude with a peachy undertone. It looks so much like it, at least from what I see in the pictures and the swatches that I've seen online. But I love this color. I have nothing like it in my collection. Now the last product I have for today is the Ultra Satin Lip in the color Jaquard. I think I'm saying it right. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I usually have either like bright reds, bright orange reds, dark lips, like dark plum lips, or nude de mauve. This is like a peachy, not even peachy. I don't know. I saw it online and I thought it was pretty cute. It's actually like corally, definitely like a coral color. This is how it's swatched in the back of my hand. It's this color right here. 
this is next to likely and strip definitely a coral color all right so this shade is super nice nice pop of color definitely not an everyday shape but it's definitely good for spring and summer i really like it and i think it looks good on my skin tone it does look really cute with this light jean choker the color combo is really nice my lips are on fire so this completes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this ColourPop haul i can't wait to try out those eyeshadows and create some looks using those two palettes and yeah thank you guys for watching super ham on the website the other day i'm filming my video babe and you just interrupted oh yeah no. what's up oh, that's a boy. <laughs> Bye. Super nice for... Oh! Caught it with my thighs.